So as you've probably heard by now, Disney has announced they're going to build a new hotel and a new parking structure on the west end of the Disney property. Uh, we don't have any concept art for the parking structure, but we do have concept art of the hotel. And as I was looking at it, I was having a little bit of a hard time getting my bearings and figuring out where all the old buildings were in relation to where the new stuff is. We're gonna lose a couple buildings and I'm just trying to figure out where this hotel is going to rest in downtown Disney as we know it. And as luck would have it, our correspondent in Florida, David Reynolds uh, at Fresh Baked WDW, please do check out that channel by the way, as if you have a minute. Uh, David Reynolds is doing great stuff in Florida. Um, he sent me a, a Google Earth image of downtown Disney as it exists today in very much the same position and reference as the concept art, which is great, because now we can kind of do, uh, we can kind of overlap. So I think the first thing I want to do is familiarize myself and you guys with, with downtown Disney and the Disneyland Hotel and that whole area. What is where in this photo? So we're going to start, that is the current Disneyland Hotel property, the three towers and the sort of convention area and parking lot right there. This area here is the downtown Disney parking. And there is the current monorail stop. I had said in the initial video for this, and what I thought I read in the announcement was the was the hotel was gonna be built around the monorail stop, but as we'll see later, that may not be the case. This little fellow here is the Lego store. And this even littler fellow is the uh, Earl of Sandwich, which is, as it turns out, right next to the AMC theaters. And then finally, the ESPN zone and the Rainforest Cafe. Now, nearly everything that we've just seen is going to be either completely destroyed or changed to a great extent uh, in favor of this new hotel, this new Four Diamond Resort that they're building in the downtown Disney area. So let's take a look again at the concept art and then we'll start to map out where the old businesses were, where the old buildings were. So there's the Disneyland Hotel area. Now I should say before we begin that the two photos that we have, the concept art and the aerial photo that we have of downtown Disney as it exists today aren't exactly the scale. They're very, very close. Uh, but they're not exactly to scale, so we might see some differences in the way the boundaries line up. For example, you can see part of the Disneyland Hotel area has encroached upon, the old Disneyland Hotel area has encroached upon uh, the new uh, resort that they're building. And I'm not sure if that is going to be the case or not, if we're going to lose. I don't think we're losing any of the Disneyland Hotel area, is, I guess is what I'm saying. What, we're, what we are going to get is maybe some new... Um, uh, you know, some new landscaping. You can see, for example, if I toggle back to the old photo, that there, that the the grounds are a little less manicured than they're going to be, according to the concept art. Now we'll add the downtown Disney parking, and this is definitely a situation where this new resort is going to gobble up some of that downtown Disney parking. Uh, that is not a size issue. That They are definitely taking over some of that space that used to be occupied by downtown Disney parking. We don't know yet uh, if they're going to expand the parking in some other way, because obviously with more things to do, uh, you're gonna need more parking. My understanding is they're gonna build a new parking structure next to Paradise Pier Hotel. We don't have an image of that, but uh, that is the expectation. I don't know if that's where people are gonna be able to park to just you know, visit this downtown Disney area as opposed to you know, if it's parking only for the resort, I'm not sure. Now here we see the the existing monorail stop. I had said in the initial video that I thought the, the, the hotel was going to be built around it, but according to this, it doesn't. If you look at the other concept art that they provided, it did look to me like it was gonna go through it or at least very, very close to it. Uh, and that may still be the case, but it doesn't look like it's going to go through it. And therefore, we can probably assume that we won't have to shut down the monorail. And there's a Lego store and it will survive. The Lego store has survived the uh, the expansion of the downtown Disney area. So it looks like anything east of that, where the monorail track is, is going to is going to make it. Across the way though, that little guy right there, again, that is Earl of Sandwich, not gonna make it. That looks like it's being uh, gobbled up, of course, uh, by, the, uh, by, the, by the new hotel, as is the AMC Theater. So both, the, it's, it's just wild to think that in a space where we currently go see movies and have a sandwich is going to be an enormous hotel. This, this, for whatever reason, is just now sinking in when I look at this photo here, how much is going to change in downtown Disney. And then across the way, there it goes again, uh, the ESPN zone, completely engulfed by the, uh, by the new hotel, as is the Rainforest Cafe. And this again reminds us just how, just how much this new property is going to encroach on, on downtown Disney as we know it. The biggest parts of downtown Disney, you know, when you think about it, these are the these are the biggest units. 
I don't know how Build-A-Bear or Ride Makers compare in size, but I have a feeling that they're probably smaller than these other areas. So it's interesting that, you know, this new resort is taking up all of the largest pieces of the property. But it's going to change the way that we perceive it as, and it's going to change the way that we think of as in terms of how we enter the park. Um, to me, at least in, in my feeling, the entrance has still always been Harbor Boulevard, even though, you know, the new parking structure and downtown Disney had kind of changed that a little bit. It's very difficult to just casually park at downtown Disney and walk in there and, and then enter the park that way. It's very difficult to park that way. It's very difficult, in fact, to park at the Mickey and Friends parking structure for that matter. Um, because it is very crowded. I have always found it easier for me to park at Toy Story and then bust it in. But I have a feeling, you know, we're, we, with a higher density of things to do, a higher density of Disney property, active Disney property, uh, you know, on this end of the park and with an additional parking structure or two, because they did mention, like I said, another parking structure uh, over by Paradise Pier Hotel, that this will become the de facto main entrance to the park. Um, so it's it's kind of a fascinating change. We're gonna end we're gonna end here by taking again a look at the at the old versus the new. So we'll start with this again this uh, existing photo of downtown Disney as we are, and then we'll blend in all the uh, you know all the buildings that are subject to change here uh, with the you know existing downtown Disney, and then how it'll look with the new resort, and then finally. A nice clean look at the, at the new Disneyland Resort coming our way 2021. Uh, Fresh Baked, I want to know your thoughts. How are you feeling about this? Does this scare you at all? Or are you super excited? I'm kind of both, <laughs> as usual, with, with changes at Disneyland. But I'm, you know, I'm kind of excited about this. I, I, I like the idea of having a more resort-like feel to the entire property. What are you guys looking forward to? What, do you, what are you going to miss? Uh, in terms of the shops and stuff that we lose and what are you looking forward to with this new development? I want to hear from you guys. Let us know Fresh Baked. Until next time, remember to love Disney every day and Fresh Baked!